Hey guys, what's going on? Uh, today I'm going to do an album review for AFI's All Hollows EP. Um, first, before we get started, I'm sorry, it's been a while since I've done any guitar videos. Um, I was going to do some today, but it's kind of late already, and I don't want to disturb anyone. But anyways, I will definitely be doing some this weekend. Um, tomorrow, I'm going to be doing Teen Isles Deadhead, because I got a recommendation for that, so that'll be fun. And I'm also going to do a lot of Misfit songs, because it's near Halloween, and also this review is also kind of... Uh, Halloweenish, because uh, um, it's Halloween themed, which is the reason I'm reviewing it. So, um, anyway, so let's get started with that out of the way. So, yeah. So, this is AFI's All Halls EP. Um, this regard, I may be their best EP, and it's one of their best releases. So, the packaging. Um, this is not, um, this is a 10 inch, I think. Yeah, it is. Because it, um, it, it plays at 45 RPM, but, uh, um, it sounds a little bit higher pitched than if you listen to it on a CD. So I have a few songs on here on a Greatest Hits CD from AFI. But anyways, so here it is. There's the album cover. I really like the artwork from Alan Forbes. His artwork with AFI is really cool. So I like that. And then on the back, you have the track listing. So, so there's four songs since it's an EP. You have like, Fall Children, um, the cover of The Misfits Halloween. I really like that. Uh, the Boy Who Destroyed the World and Total Immortal. So on the back, like it's a continuation of the picture, and you have like a little house right there. It's kind of neat. And then on the side right here, it has Nitro Records and all that uh, copyright shit. But yeah, and inside the insert here, you have um, some pictures of the band, and then it says the lineup. So yeah, obviously this is their lineup that they stayed with. So there's uh, Davey Havoc on vocals, probably one of my favorite vocalists of all time. Um, but my favorite vocalist, my th he's my top three. My He's my third. My second favorite is Randy Blythe from Lamb of God. And my first favorite is Henry Rollins in Black Flag. So anyways, um, yeah, Audrey Carson on drums, Jade Puget on guitar, and Hunter on bass. So, yeah. And then on the back, you've got the lyrics and stuff. So, yeah. Nothing too special. Uh, it doesn't have the lyrics to Halloween, though. It just has Halloween vocals and music by Glenn Danzig, since it's a Misfits song. So, yeah, there's the insert. Um, you have a white a white dust sheet, but it's slightly different. It has a it's not a protector dust sheet, but it has it's like a protector dust sheet basically without the plastic that covers the the uh, what's it called the record label. But anyways, yeah, it's the same shape, but it's smaller obviously because this is a ten inch. So yeah, it's on orange vinyl. I really like it. Um, I have a Black Sabbath record that's I uh, showed um, volume four. I showed that in a vinyl update a few weeks ago. It's similar color, but that one's slightly wider than this. But anyways, yeah. So I really like this. This is the first color vinyl I ever got, and this is the only this is the only record I have that isn't uh, an LP. That's uh, what's called that's 12 inch. This is 10 inch. So yeah, I already said that. But yeah, so there's side one and side two. Uh, actually, I can't since my record player is automatic. Uh, actually, that actually doesn't really apply for this album though, since I have to like I press start and then I have to lift up the needle and then put it on the record. Or else the needle will start dragging along the, uh, the what's called the record mat. Um, and that would not be good. So anyways, yep, that's the packaging. So pretty nice for a small little 10 inch. But there's one thing on the album cover. I forgot to show that bugs me. Um, when I first got this, oh God, I'm so bad at this, like ripping off plastic wrap. Um, I was trying to rip it off and I was trying to like peel it off from the front. Because for some reason the plastic, it came to an end at the front. So I was trying to peel it off, but like, I accidentally, I kind of, either I scraped along it or something did that, I don't remember, but you, know, you can't really see it, there's like a huge scrape along, you can't see it, it was the lighting, but right here there's a big scrape, it's really annoying, I don't know, and I had to glue this back together because the glue was kind of dry, so it was, see, it, yeah, um, so for the track listing, the first song you have is Fall Children, um, that's a perfect song. It opens up really melancholy, with a really melancholy guitar arpeggio, kind of. And then it also has really nice, um, vocals. Really doomy sounding at the beginning, and then they speed up, and there's a really catchy chorus. Um, and then at the end, there's, like, a breakdown that's really, really cool. And Davey Haddock's vocal performance is really nice on that. Like, I really like it. And then at the end, you hear, like, a music box playing, and that's really cool. I kind of put that in there. Halloween is a very good cover of Misfit song. Though they play it a little bit faster than the normal song. Um, and at the end, though, my only complaint with that song is that it's really slow at the end. Like, at the end, there's this really long thing where it's just like noises and you kind of like a harp playing in the background. 
And it just feels kind of pointless. I don't know. So that's side one. On side two, it opens up with The Boy Who Destroyed the World. Um, really cool sounding song title. It's probably my least favorite on the whole album, though, because it's has, it almost has a pop punky kind of vibe to it. Um, this, I would really categorize it as a horror punk album from AFI. But, yeah, that one's a little poppy, I guess. I don't know. It's not my favorite on the album. But it has some really interesting lyrics about, uh... Basically, uh, sort of a kid who's alienated, I guess. Um, I don't know, it's pretty interesting. Um, just look up the song. Lyrics are interesting, but I don't care much for the song. Like, I don't not like it, it's just not my favorite on the album. Uh, but now my next is my favorite on the album, Total Immortal. First old song from AFI I ever heard, and it freaking blew my mind when I first heard that song. It's so amazing. It's really, it's probably the first aggressive song I ever heard. It's really aggressive and angry. And dark and moody and oh it's amazing. Davy Havoc's vocals are really good. Um, I think the guitar's in drop D. Uh, it sounds really heavy. And like he does like this part where he whispers and stuff and it's so good. Like that's probably AFI is hands down their best song in my opinion. Yeah. Uh, that song's probably the reason this is probably one of their most uh, famous releases, along with Black Cells and the Sunset. But my personal favorite is Shut Your Mouth and Open Your Eyes. I sure do that sometime. That's one of my favorite albums of all time. So, yep, um, this is the All Halls EP, a short video, but anyways. Uh, of 10, I'd give this a 9 out of 10, since AFI are one of my favorite bands. So, yep, this is the All Halls EP from AFI. So, yep, that's it for today's video, so don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.